It's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. I said it's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. There's a time to walk and a time to run, a time for work and a time for fun. But only if your chores are done. Haha, <laughs> that's right. We have sad times and happy times, and times for making up cool rhymes. It's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. Hi there, I'm Timothy Time, the clock that rocks. Cuckoo, and don't forget me. That's right. This is my friend Cuckoo, and we're here to teach you all about time. Yeah. If you look at the clock and listen to my rhyme, then you can learn the parts from me. Timothy time. The face of the clock is where the numbers stay. In their special places, every second of the day. The twelve is at the top, and the six is at the bottom. Every time you look, that's where you will spot them. The nine is on the left. And the three is on the right. The other numbers fit between in a circle. Let's recite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Running round the face are at least two hands. The short one moves most slowly as the hour demands. Cause the short hand is the hour hand. He's so slow I could slumber. He takes a whole hour just to reach each number. The long hand is the minute hand. She moves a little faster. Every five minutes, she gets a number past her. Some clocks have another hand that speeds around the face. This thin one is the second hand. Now pump up the bass. Yeah, pump up the bass. Pump it up now. Oh, sorry, Cuckoo. I guess I lost track of time. <laughs> oh, brother! Speaking of time, now you know the parts of the clock that you read. In order to tell time, a clock is what you need. Let's start out easy. Telling time to the hour, I'll teach you a cool trick that will give. You the power. When you see the minute hand pointed straight at the top, it's on the number twelve. So say the word o'clock. Next, check out the number the hour hand points to. Then put that number with a clock. That's all you have to do. Let's try a few examples. Just take a look at these and say them out loud as quickly as you please. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. Now let's try some other clocks, like ones that you might see, so you get some more practice. Say these times with me. One o'clock. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. Eleven o'clock. 
Some of you have noticed something a little strange. It seems we have two of each hour in each day. The first 12 o'clock comes when it is night. This is 12 a.m. and also 12 midnight. 12 hours later, it is noon. That's right, it's 12 p.m. Let's look at some examples now and join along with them. 8 o'clock a.m. is the start of my school day. 4 o'clock p.m. is the time for friends to play. 12 o'clock p.m. is the time to eat some lunch. 7 o'clock p.m. is when my dinner gets much. 9 o'clock p.m. is when I need to be in bed. 2 o'clock p.m. is when I think of what my teacher said. 5 o'clock p.m. is when I do homework and chores. 10 o'clock a.m. is when they open most doors. Hey, you learned that in half the time I thought you would. Half the time? Just a minute. I've heard people talking about half past when they're telling time. What do they mean when they say half past? Well, Cuckoo, let me tell you how to tell time to the half hour. Since one whole hour has 60 minutes, half an hour has only 30 minutes in it. If you start on the hour and go halfway around, the minute hand will be on the six, hanging upside down. Now you might ask, where will the short hand be? I can tell you now, it's Quite easy. The hour hand will be halfway in between two of the numbers somewhere round the ring. Whichever of the numbers the hour hands just passed is the one you say out loud with 30 at the last. Well then, show us how to do it. Okay, don't get your feathers ruffled. 30 2.30 3.30 4.30 5.30 6.30 7.30 8.30 9.30 11.30 12 30. Okay, Timothy, so when I hear people say it's half past seven, does that mean that the minute hand is on the six and that it's 7.30? Wow, Cuckoo, you catch on really fast. They say half past because the hour hand has traveled halfway past the hour before it. Let's look at some more clocks. Read the times on these clocks with me. 8.30 or half past 8 12 o'clock 2.30 or half past 2 11.30 or half past 11 9 o'clock 1.30 or half past one. Seven thirty or half past seven. Ten thirty or half past ten. Six o'clock. Three thirty or half past three. 
Now you're using your brain powers. Let's break it down to quarter hours. This clock face has been divided into four. That's four equal sections. Now let me tell you more. If the minute hand has gone just a quarter of the way, it's a quarter past the hour. A quarter past is what you say. At a quarter past, the minute hand is on the three, and the number of the minutes past the hour is fifteen. The hour hand will be one fourth of the way past one of the numbers. This number's what you'll say. One fifteen, or a quarter past one. We can say it either way. Telling time can sure be fun. Two fifteen, or a quarter past two. We're learning to tell time. It's easy with you. Oh, thank you, Cuckoo. Three fifteen, or a quarter past three. I think I've got it now. Sounds good to me. Now, when the minute hand has moved another quarter of the way, it's half past the hour. Oh, we've learned that. Okay. Four thirty, or half past four. I remember this. Let's do a couple more. Five thirty. Or half past five. I think you've really got it. Yeah, give me five. Six thirty. Or half past six. Let's learn something new. Okay, I'll teach you some more tricks. Let's keep on moving another quarter of an hour, so it's just a quarter till the very next hour. The minute hand will be. Pointing to the nine, the minutes that have passed equal forty-five. The hour hand has passed the hour three quarters of the way. So look back to the number that you are going to say. Take a look at this one. The hour hand is almost at the eight. So we go back to the seven to get the hour straight. Now the minute hand. Is on the nine. Forty-five minutes have passed, so it's seven forty-five. Let me see. The hour hand is almost to the nine, so I go back to the eight. It's eight forty-five. Cuckoo. And this one is. Timothy, time. This was the time on the clock when someone told me it was a quarter till ten. Well, Cuckoo, that's another way of looking at this time. Instead of going back to the hour that's behind and adding forty-five minutes, you look up ahead to the next hour number and say quarter till instead. Can I do some by myself? So I'm sure I've got this right. Sure, Cuckoo. You're in the time spotlight. Okay. If I want to look at the hour that's already passed, this is 10:45. But if I want to look at the hour that is coming, this is a quarter till 11. And this time can be either. Forty-five or a quarter till one. Thank you, thank you, cuckoo. Hey, Timothy, time. What happens if the minute hand is on one of the other numbers? Well, cuckoo, every time the minute hand is on a number, five minutes have passed. Do you know how to count by fives all the way to sixty, cuckoo? Cuckoo, yeah. And I know why we have to count by fives up to sixty. It's because there are sixty minutes in each hour. Can we practice a few times together with some music? Sure, we can. And my little friends will help. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten,
How we can use counting by fives to help us tell time to five minutes. Each number on the clock shows five more minutes past. So if you count by fives, you'll learn this really fast. Look at the hour hand. What number has it passed? That will be the hour. Wasn't that a blast? Now count by fives, starting from the one till you reach the minute hand, and then you will be done. Just say the hour now, and say the minutes then. The ones you counted up by fives, let practice now begin. Look at the hour hand. It's a little past nine. Nine is the hour. Now look at the minute hand. It's pointing at the four, so we count by fives four times. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Aha! Uh -huh. It must be nine twenty. That's right, Cuckoo. Now look at this one. The hour is eleven. And what about the minute hand? It's pointing at the seven. That's right. Let's count. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. It's eleven thirty-five. The hour hand is past the six, and the minute hand's on the two. What time is it, Cuckoo? It's six ten. Now you've got it, Cuckoo. The little hand is past the five, and the big hand's on the eight. So the time is five forty. Very good. You remembered that the minute hand is bigger than the hour hand. The hour hand is past the two, and the minute hand's on the five. Counting up by fives five times gives the number twenty-five. Cuckoo! This clock shows a time of two twenty-five. What about this one? The hour is almost four. But we must use the number. That was before. Cuckoo! The hour is three. But what about the minutes? Eleven times will count by five. Might as well begin it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. You got it. Three fifty-five. What time is it now? The hour hand is almost up to the eleven, so the hour must be ten. Speaking of ten, that's where the minute hand is pointing. Did you count by fives? I sure did, all the way to fifty. Well then, it must be ten fifty. Cuckoo, ten fifty. Oh no! The minute hand and the hour hand are almost the same. Now what are we gonna do? Cuckoo, 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 Calm cuckoo, 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 cucko
That's right. And where might the minute hand be? The minute hand is on the one. Easy enough. We don't even have to count. It's 105. This one is easy. We learned that this time is 1230. Or half past 12. But what if we count the minutes? Will we get the same time? Sure we will, Cuckoo. Let's do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can always count by fives to figure out the time. Even if it is the quarter hour or half hour. Let's do a few more so we get it down. If it goes too fast this time, make another round. First we'll look at the clock and give some thinking time. Try to save the time before you hear Timothy's voice or mine. Ten, ten. on the outer edge of the clock face? Yeah! I hadn't really noticed them before. Do you know how many little marks are on the clock? Let me guess. Is it 60? You got it, Cuckoo. That's 60 lines for 60 minutes in an hour. When you tell time to the minute, the hour is fun to find. Just look for the hour hand and find the number it's left behind. Gives us the hour. Now we need the minutes. So find the minute hand and count by fives the way we do. We'll stop on the number before the minute hand, me and you. Then count up one number for each little line. When we reach the minute hand, then the minutes we will find. Put the hour and the minutes together for the time. We'll practice a few here so you understand my rhyme. This one is 412. Find the hour. Count by fives. Count the lines to find the time. Find the hour, count by fives, count the lines to find the time. Let's do some more. Find the 
just past the eight. Count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Count the lines. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Find the time. Eight twenty-two. Almost to the three. Go back to the two. Count by fives. Here we go. Five, five ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Count the lines. Forty-six, forty-seven. Find the time. Two forty-seven. To count, so start at zero. Count the lines. One, two, three, four. Find the time. It's nine o four. Find the hour. The hour hands between the three and four. Go back to the three. Count by fives. Let's do it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Count the lines. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Find the time. It's three thirty-three. Cuckoo. Find the hour. The hour hands passed the six. Count by fives. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Find the time. Six, nineteen. Cuckoo. Find the hour. The hour hands just barely past the seven. Count by fives. Five. Count. My friend, Digi. Oh, I thought it was an air raid. Don't be silly. Digi isn't attacking. He's come to teach us about telling time with digital clocks and watches. Oh, brother! I guess time really does fly when you're having fun. That's right, everybody. I'm Digi. I'm the man. Let's tell time with a digital watch. I'll show you how you can. Just look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face! The first number is the hour before the little dots. They are called a colon, those funny little spots. The last numbers are the minutes. They're so easy to read. Just look at them and say the time. Now try a few with me. 252. 939. 323 757 1110 504 
Ten twenty seven. Six forty six. One thirty one. Eight forty eight. Four fifteen. Twelve o'clock. Sometimes you see two more numbers on the face after another colon in the rightmost place. These numbers show the seconds that move so very fast. The seconds past the minute, past the hour that has passed. If you see more numbers, it's really not a clock. More likely, it's a gadget that we call a stopwatch. That's right, Digi. A stopwatch is a special watch for measuring short times. You know it, like in a race. Speaking of races, I'm out of here. Wow! So sure. You mean there's more? That's right, Cuckoo. We need to learn about calendars. Okay. There are 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. Each day has a special name, and each name is unique. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Faster now! Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 52 weeks make up a year, but there is something more. We also have 12 months a year. Come on! Let's explore! January, February, March, April, May, July, August, September, October, November, December. Let's go a little bit faster now. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <sighs> but how many days does a month have? That all depends, Cuckoo. Thirty days are in September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except for February alone. It has 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. Do we have to jump over it? No, Cuckoo. A leap year is when we add an extra day. They come every four years, most of the time. But how will I know which years are leap years? You can look at a calendar. If the calendar has February 29th on it, then it's a leap year? That's right. Now, let's have some fun with time. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 7 days in a week, 52 weeks in a year, or 12 months in a year. With an extra day on leap year. That's right, Cuckoo. 10 years in a decade, 100 years in a century, 1,000 years in a millennium. Woo! I know what time it is now! What time is it, Cuckoo? It's time to say goodbye! Goodbye! We hope you are enjoying this Rock and Learn video. Rock and Learn has many entertaining audio and video programs, all designed to make learning fun for kids of all ages. Take a look at some of the audio and video programs Rock and Learn has to offer. One of our best selling programs, Rock and Learn Letter Sounds, really motivates young learners just starting to read. Rock and Learn Phonics is a more comprehensive reading program that builds on what kids learn on letter sounds and takes them to the next level. 
Our Phonics Easy Readers on DVD provide fun practice with the skills taught in our Phonics audio and video programs. Young learners love our Rock and Learn Alphabet series, Color Shapes and Counting, and Nursery Rhymes. Check out our exciting audio and video programs for learning math, science, social studies, languages, and more. All of our audio programs include a book with either colorful illustrations or fun activities. To receive a catalog or to find a retailer near you, call 1-800-348-8445. And to learn more about what's new, visit us at www.rockandlearn.com. Rock and Learn, cool music and videos that teach.